Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 5. And behold, sorry. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. There is a beast, there is a spirit, an antichrist spirit at such a time as this, that has been designated by the pit of hell to devour much flesh. And we may call it corona, and we may call it the COVID-19, but we are going to come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. And therefore, you spirit that has been designated to devour much flesh, we come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a blood seeker, but you will not touch the blood of the people of God. Right now we present to you the blood of Jesus Christ. You are a blood seeker and we throw the blood of Jesus to you. You will not devour much flesh. The Bible shows us in the book of Exodus that the water turned to blood and the Egyptians lacked what to drink. Even the fish in the sea had nothing to take. Today you be that have been sent to devour much flesh. We decree and declare right now that you have nothing to feast on. We seal our children with the blood of Jesus. We seal our countries with the blood of Jesus. We seal our doorposts with the blood of Jesus. You beast that has been sent to devour much flesh. You have no power over our households, over our nation, over our cities, over our children. We rebuke you and we command you to live Leave our households in the name of Jesus. The blood was shed 2,000 years ago at the cross at Calvary. And right now we declare that that blood is sufficient and it is enough and it is speaking for us. It is speaking liberty. It is speaking freedom. It is speaking deliverance in the name of Jesus. And we are saying that we are your people who are called by your name. And we have come to petition because we know the power that is in the blood. Therefore, you spirit, you beast that has been sent to devour my flesh, you antichrist spirit, we come against you. You have no power. You are an orchestration of the devil for he cometh to kill he cometh to steal. He cometh to destroy. The ordinances of God are multiplication. They are not subtraction. Your spirit that operates in subtraction. We come against you tonight in the name of Jesus and we command you to live. In the beginning God said go, multiply, replenish the earth. We are moving in the ordinances of God. His ordinances are from glory to glory. We will not fall from freedom to bondage. We will will not fall from revival to pain. Oh, we are going forward. You antichrist beast that has been sent to devour my flesh. We decree and declare right now that instead of subtraction, we will see multiplication. The earth will be subdued. It will be replenished and the earth will be filled of the knowledge of the glory of God. You beast that has been sent to devour my flesh, we rebuke you right now. We command you to live in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 that because of the confidence of the blood we have escaped. The prisoners have escaped from the pit. Therefore every family that suffers from the coronavirus today that has a relative that is down that feels symptoms. We say right now that because of the blood you are escaping from the beast. We throw this blood at the beast, the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ and we hide. Satan will say that the blood of Jesus is against you and you have no power over us or over the children. And Lord, we repent for energizing this gift, this beast. We repent for sexual immorality. We repent for perversion. We repent for corruption. We repent for enmity. We repent for war. Everything that we have done that has energized this beast, the beast that feeds on unholy 
holiness, the beast that feeds on unrighteousness. We ask you to have mercy upon us. Lord Jesus, we repent. We pledge our heart to you. Father, you have said in your word that if you should shut down the heavens and there is no rain, and Lord Jesus, that if you should send locusts to devour the land, and Lord Jesus, that if there be a pestilence, if those who are called by your name or shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn away from their wicked ways, then you will come down and heal. We repent for everything that we have done to energize this beast. And we say right now that we withdraw draw every form of demonic contribution and we decree and declare that our hands and our spirits are one with you as this beast is ushered out of the nation every declaration that was made by the occult by diviners by sorceries to energize this beast in Daniel chapter 7 verse 5 the beast is being told to arise we speak another word we say beast live in the name of Jesus we say beast you have no power we say gift the blood of Jesus is beast, beast the blood of Jesus is against you we speak another word and again the blood of Jesus speaks against you you beast the blood of Jesus speaks better words than the blood of Abel begins to speak right now where you have said you are devouring us we say that we are tithers and we have given the power we have been given the power against devourers and therefore we say devourer live you will not hurt us you will not hurt our children you will not hurt our nation you will not hurt anything that has anything to do with us you beast that has been sent to devour much flesh the blood of Jesus is still speaking and it speaks from heaven you may have devoured flesh you may have blood in the ground that is crying out but the blood of Jesus speaks right now against you where you have brought tears the blood of Jesus speaks joy. Where you have brought pain, the blood of Jesus speaks freedom. Where you have brought anxiety, the blood of Jesus speaks boldness and strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that this beast with the name of COVID, with the name of Corona, has been commanded to live. And there is an, an, an angelic paralysis that has come over its mouth. It will not devour any flesh anymore. It has been rebuked. It has been pushed out and it has been commanded to leave our nation, to leave our families, to leave our children, to leave our city and to leave the earth that was given unto man that he may subdue it and, and multiply and replenish it. In the mighty name of Jesus we have been, we have prayed. Amen and amen.